Hey guys, it's Drew here. Uh, I uh, had a lot of questions on my first video on the top five reasons your car won't start. Uh, with battery and alternator issues, a lot of people had trouble with number four on that video. Number four is when your car is cranking and it's not the battery alternator and it's it's going you guys love those sounds right <laughs> so i thought i'd do a part two video on this okay so here's the top five reasons that your car won't start uh if your battery and alternator are working um so uh let's start with number one here and you're definitely going to want to stay till number five because that's i left the most important one and most common one till the end so uh number one is your starter um, I'm showing you on a PT Cruiser here, uh, but we'll probably go over to the Tahoe in a second because the Tahoe is a little more detailed on how, how you can see all the parts. If you look on a PT Cruiser here, they cover this up with all this fancy engine stuff. Somebody painted this on the one I bought. But uh, if you look, you have to actually pu pull these tabs off to get to the top of the engine over here. And there's screws under there. So a lot of new car companies, this is a 2008 PT Cruiser, have a really... They cover up the essentials that you need to see uh, in order to work on a car. So it's not really a great car for an example. But I thought I'd show you a different engine since my Tahoe's over there and it's, you know, that's one. But, uh, okay, so number one is going to be your starter. Now, on a PT Cruiser, the starter is right there, okay? On different cars, it's in different areas. You can see it. Let me point to it right there. It's kind of hard to get to, okay? So if your starter's not working, you're going to have no noise at all. Uh, when you start, it may just click. Uh, actually, it usually won't even click. Your lights will work in your car. Your radio will work. Your windows will work. Full power, but when you turn the key, you don't hear any noise. That's your starter failing, okay? So that's not your battery. Obviously, if your power windows work, they take a lot of power. If your power windows are going down, you've got battery power, and you know your alternator works because your alternator is charging your battery. So, uh, okay, so your radio's gonna work, your power windows are gonna work, your lights on your car are at full strength. That's your starter if you're turning the key and there's no sound at all, definitely, okay? So number two, all right, so if your car is starting uh, and there is a sound and it does that tit, 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 sound, you guys, your favorite sound there on my other video, uh, and that's where it goes crank, 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 and there's no sound, or there's no starting, okay? That could also be your distributor or spark plugs. Now, we're gonna go over to the Tahoe to show you the distributor or spark plugs because uh, they're a little more visible on this. I don't even know really where they are on this because I can't get this top off. So let's walk over to the Tahoe and we'll show you where the distributor is on the Tahoe. Okay guys, so uh, this is a 1997 Chevy Tahoe here. Get a wide shot of it. Uh, this is my baby here. I love this. It's a two-door model. I love this thing. Okay, but it's, you know, it's having problems little by little. But anyway, so your distributor on the Chevy Tahoe and a lot of Suburbans, it's right here in the back. See where those three wires are? There's, there's three or four wires. In. Those are your spark plug wires. And that's your distributor right, let's see if I can point to it. It's right back in there. Distributor is right where those wires hook into. Okay, a lot of times when your car isn't cranking, uh, there could be an issue with that distributor cap, that distributor itself, um, or even you might need new spark plug wires. Now, um, right over here are where your spark plugs connect on your Chevy Tahoe, right down there. Um, you can also replace your spark plugs. Um, that can you know, be a misfire, things like that. Uh, it's really hard to diagnose, guys. Like I said, it's, uh, mechanics know what they're doing, but a lot of times it can be a simple problem and a mechanic will charge you for something else. So, uh, okay, so if your car is making that ch -ch 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 sound, uh, that means that you're just not, not connecting fuel. Your battery's working, everything else, uh, but it could be your spark plugs. That's number two on there, or your distributor, which is back there, okay? Um, as far as knowing how to test for that, I'm not 100%. Like I said, I'm not a full mechanic, but I'm just kind of going over reasons here why I could do that. Okay. All right, so let's move on to number three. Now, number three, if, you're, if your car's having trouble starting, um, sometimes it can actually be your air filter. So let's crack this puppy open here on the Chevy Tahoe. Now, your air filter's in here. Now, one time, this, this was disconnected at one point. My mechanic worked on my car, and he didn't connect this fully. So when I was driving, this was actually disconnected from the air filter. This is your air filter here. This is the K&N air filter. Really good. All right. 
So uh, that was disconnected. That was definitely making my car have a hard time starting because it was letting way too much air in and letting a bunch of junk in. And it wasn't, um, yeah, so it was having a lot of trouble starting. It would eventually crank, but it was rough when it would start. So if your air filter is not clean, this one's actually pretty dirty. I need to rinse the uh, K&N air filter out. Uh, K&N is a brand that's reusable. If you have a regular air filter, you just have to replace it. Okay, so make sure your air filter is connected and that uh, it's clean because that can actually prevent your car. That can also affect your gas mileage, but you want to make sure that works. All right, so let's move on to the next one here. Uh, the next one is uh, a pretty serious one, okay? So if you're driving down the road and there's smoke or steam coming up from your car and you continue to drive, which is a no-no, if you have steam coming out of your car, that's your coolant leaking and there's almost no coolant left in your radiator. If you would continue to drive with no coolant in your radiator, you will destroy your engine. You'll literally burn the engine up. Sometimes your car can catch on fire. So um, that's not good. Uh, it can also happen if, uh, back to number four again, if you have no oil in your car. Uh, usually you'll start with a lot of smoke coming out of the back of your car. Um, if you've got a lot of white smoke coming out the back of your car, you probably haven't either changed your oil or you have no oil in your car. Eventually having no oil in your car will result in the engine burning up and it can actually like warp the internal parts of your engine. So that can lead to a no start. That's gonna be really, really expensive to fix. So if you don't have coolant or oil in your car, uh, very, very bad for your car, very expensive. Um, so if, you, if a car isn't starting and you check and there's no oil, it, it can possibly be that you, you know, that's the main problem, but you know, you'll have to have it diagnosed as well. Okay, so number four, uh, no oil or coolant in your car. That's very bad. Your coolant's over here. You wanna make sure this is decent. It has a bunch of coolant. This is, all right, so number five, the best one, the final one, the most common reason why your car will not start it has to do with fuel issues fuel intake, uh, just getting that fuel to your um, engine and your spark plugs ignite that fuel. So <clears throat> a lot of times it can be your fuel pump having an issue. Now on a Chevy Tahoe, you can hear your fuel pump sometimes when you turn your key, uh, you can kind of hear a reek sometimes, that's the fuel pump starting up. Um, but uh, if your fuel pump is bad, uh, it's not gonna start the car because it's not gonna be squirting the fuel into the engine. So you can also have an issue with your fuel line. Um, if the fuel lines are clogged or bad, uh, your engine is not going to get, uh, it's not gonna start. So that's gonna lead to that chit 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 sound, obviously. <laughs> so uh, your fuel pump is actually in a lot of cars, not in the Chevy Tahoe, but it's actually under the back seat in a lot of cars. I think in the PT Cruiser, it's under the back seat. And you have to take out the back seat and you'll see the top and it sits on top of the fuel tank and takes out the uh, thing. I think on a Chevy Tahoe, you actually have to drop the fuel tank out to get to that. So, um, okay, and then uh, along with that fuel pump or fuel line issue, sometimes you can have water in your gas. It's very, very rare. But a lot of times a gas station will have somehow gotten water in their gasoline. And, or if your car has sat for an immense amount of time, water can accumulate in your gas. Now you can use something called seafoam and that will actually help dissolve the water in your gasoline. But one thing you want to do is, uh, you know, just make sure that it's, you know, you might have to take it to a mechanic, make sure it's not your fuel pump or fuel line. Um, but it, it, it's really a hard diagnosis, guys, when it's going click, click, or ch -ch 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 <laughs> and your car won't start. So uh, these are just a couple options here. Like I said, let's go over them again. Okay, number one, it could be your starter. That's if there's no sound. Number two is your distributor or park spark plugs. That's, that's if you have that scratching machine gun sound. Number three, check your air filter and make sure it's connected, make sure it's clean. Uh, number four is if you have no oil or coolant in your car, uh, the engine could be burned out. That's usually if you're on the road and it's started smoking. And number five, like I said, the most common issue with a no start is a problem with your fuel lines or fuel pump. And it can sometimes even be a, uh, a fuse on your fuel pump. So fuel pump is usually the most common issue or fuel, fuel issues uh, with getting your car started, but spark plugs are also very common. All right, guys, well, I hope this helped. Uh, a lot of you had questions about the fourth, you know, when a car won't crank and it makes that machine gun scratching sound. 
this is basically these are basically the other options this is if your battery works and your alternator works there's your alternator and there's your battery so if, if your car is making a cranking sound it's definitely not your battery or alternator if, if it's going chit, 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 chit. <laughs> so guys all right this is drew guys i hope this helped uh i want to thank you guys for subscribing um and i hope this helped you know you guys if you uh watch my first video and you're still trying to figure out how to start your car most of the time i go to an auto parts store if i have another vehicle and they're willing to help uh, but uh, a lot of times if it gets to the point where it's a fuel issue or fuel line you usually have to go to a mechanic so all right guys subscribe like this video uh this is drew you guys take it easy and i hope you get your car running thanks